Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia. Today I am doing the review on the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. It's in the black monogram imprinté in the embossed leather. I'm super excited to show you this piece. It's one of my favorite pieces that I've ever owned. It's also a really popular item that a lot of people see online. So, and I do believe that it's still currently available online. So I'll go ahead and get started and just start showing you some of the overall features of this bag. After that, I will be showing you what fits inside. And also at the end, I'll show you some model shots as well. So go ahead and get started. So this is the Pochette Matisse. As you can see, the beautiful embossed leather, absolutely gorgeous. Has a nice zipper in the back. I'll show you some of that in, the, in a moment. Absolutely gorgeous. It does come with a adjustable and detachable strap. So I'll go ahead and put that. I'll show you just a quick close up of the strap so you can see the, just the detail on the hardware. But you can see it has the Louis Vuitton there on both of them there. Very, very pretty. It's a really nice adjustable strap, which I'll show you in a moment. But let's get to the bag. So this bag has a really nice um, S, like uh, it's an S lock closure. So I'm going to go ahead and try to lock it so you can see what it looks like from close up. But that is what it looks like close up. So you can see it's really pretty. It's got a really nice lock locking mechanism here. The gold hardware on the sides there, there as well. One of the things that I do want to show you is it does have this really nice top handle. It's really sturdy and really just like stiff. So I, I really do like that feature as well because you can, it can be more versatile. You can carry this as a handbag. You can also adjust the strap as a shoulder bag, but you can also wear it as a crossbody. So I think overall it's a really nice, uh, nice bag. On the back of the bag, it does have this really pretty zipper and you can see how nice it's. And you could also see the Louis Vuitton there but the pocket's actually pretty big. It's a really nice size pocket here. I actually can fit a full size wallet in here. So, but again, I'll show you in a moment. And let's take a look at the inside of it. So here, you'll see that this bag has three, I'd say fairly decent size, more like medium size compartments. So it has one, compartment here it has a middle compartment and it also has the third compartment there the inside the lining i think is really really pretty i'll get do a little close-up so you could see the louis vuitton there but overall it's really really pretty and it does fit a lot the only thing that i have noticed over time i've had this bag for about 18 months now and you can see a little bit of the creases here it's like folding a little bit here but aside from that i don't really see a whole lot of wear the other thing that I have noticed, um, if any of you have any bags that have this type of clasp, sometimes it can get scratched, especially with since the way you, you secure this bag, sometimes I find myself like trying to clip it on and I can't. And I think that's where the scratches come from. But I'll show you some of the scratches that I have. Those are the main scratches that I have, but overall it's always closed, so no one can ever really see that. But, you know, I do want you to know that is one of the cons of this bag is that it does get, the hardware can get easily scratched, but that's really common with a lot of the Louis Vuitton hardware anyway. But, so again, this is the bag on the outside. Do one quick view again. And the back. But overall, very nice bag. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you what I can fit in my bag. So now I have all my items here for you. So I do want to show you how these items fit in here. Um, 
looking at this table, you're probably thinking there's no way all that stuff can actually fit in this bag, but you'll be surprised as far as how much you can put in here. So on the back zipper, what I usually do with the back zipper is I do have my rectal versal and I really like to have that one back here where it's easy for me to access. I do have a, another wallet that actually does fit in here, but this one currently actually doesn't fit in here. But um, I do have another wallet that I use. It's not a Louis Vuitton wallet, but um, that wallet usually fits in here. But again, I'm, what I use is this smaller wallet and it's more the rectal versatile. For me, I have all my cards and my money and things like that right on the outside, easy to access. So I put that there. Now on the front. I do want to point out that the middle pocket here, the middle one here, it's probably the largest one of the three. It's actually fairly large, so you can really put a lot in there. So what I usually put in the middle is that I will put my toiletry 15 in here. It fits really nicely in here. My wallet, I actually tend to put it in the front. It's a, the Emily wallet, which I am also reviewing next, so keep an eye out for that. I put that in here. My sunglasses right in the back. my pouch, my key pouch, AirPods, and my phone. The phone, I my, and actually I'm using my phone for filming right now, but um, this is the case that my phone's usually in. So I will either slide it in the back of the bag here or I'll put it in the front with my wallet. But which, whichever one you use, it works. I mean, it does really fit. So I'm gonna actually put it in the back just to show you. It is a little full, I will say that. I mean, you'll see the difference in how it was before to how it is now full, but it does look a little bit different when you find, if you have a lot of pieces. Of course, not everyone travels with as much um, as I do, but um, I do have quite a bit of stuff in there. Let me show you again just the inside of what it looks like with all my items. But you can see I still have a little bit of room in here. I can still put a few more items in here if I want to. I could even actually put my phone in there if I want and there's still plenty of room. Back here, I still have half this pouch, and in the front, I still have quite a bit as well. But it's definitely bigger now that it's full. And this is where I was uh, saying earlier, this is probably where I get all these scratches because of that piece there. But um, again, here I'll show you what it looks like from the side when it's full. Now you can see how much bigger that looks. It looks much bigger for sure, the back. But again, because it's this really soft embossed leather, it just really stretches with whatever you put in it. So I'm not worried about it cracking or anything like that. I've had this bag for about 18 months now and I have no issues with it. The only thing that I've noticed are the scratches here with the clasp. But aside from that, there is nothing wrong with this bag. Not one, uh, the leather is not wearing anywhere. No tears, scratches, pretty much nothing. But it is really nice. I like it. I don't mind it full like this. I think it looks kind of nice. So um, yeah, so that's it. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on. So this is what the bag looks like on. So I do want to do a few model shots here. So at this length here, the shoulder strap is actually at the shortest length that you can have this bag. So I'm about 5'4 and about 130, 135 pounds, just for perspective. And this is what the bag looks like on me. So this is how long it is. It actually, you can see from here, it's like right at my hip, a little below my hip. So this is what it looks like from the front, or I should say the side, and then the front side there. And I'll go ahead and turn so you can see the back as well. So it's actually, I mean, in my opinion, it's a really cute bag. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it just a little bit longer so that you can see what it looks like as a crossbody. Well, let me first just show you what it looks like with this length. So this is where it sits on me if I were to keep it at the shortest length. So it's a little bit, in my opinion, it's a little too short for a crossbody for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust it a little bit so you can see it a little bit longer. So here, it's a little bit longer now. See, it's a little bit, fits me right at my hip now. And for me, I think this is a really good length for me. I think overall, it's such a really cute bag that you can't really go wrong with this bag. Put 
really, really cute. So that's really it. Um, I really appreciate you coming and visiting my channel. Um, hit that su subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a like and I will see you next time.